Hello and welcome to some nice evening trout and grayling fishing in Trondheim. I'm out fishing with William Ihutala, who is guiding here with me. We had an evening off, so we thought we'd drive down fishing. Uh, today is going to be like a combination where I do grayling fishing and he does the trout fishing. So you'll be mostly hanging around with me, catching some graylings. And uh, definitely, if we let me catch something, we will film that as well. I think it's a nice combination of trout and grayling fishing that not so many guests are taking advantage of. They're mostly, when they are in the streams, they fish for, for grayling. But I hope we can show now in this episode that there is some, some really cool trout fishing here. So the way I begin here is just to I fish a little bit upstream of Viljami, just playing around here. And uh, I'm fishing with the 11 weight, 3 weight Nymphmania rod. And uh, right now I'm hooked up with the first grayling of the night. And uh, on this nymph rod, I have a nymph line, a leader with an indicator. But in the end, there is no nymph. There's actually a dry fly there. I think it works fine for short distance dry fly fishing. Just to try tie on tie on like a dry fly instead of a nymph. To easily cast up to 10 meters. And uh, if you present well, you don't need more distance than that to be able to catch nice grailings like this. Okay, let's have a look at this beautiful first grayling. One of the very first casts of the night. It's uh, hooked quite deep, so I will use the Marc Petitjean release tool. There, now it's off. There it is again. Another nice grayling on the F fly. Fished on a nymphing rig. <laughs> How funny. Dry fly on a nymphing rig. This is decent as well. Oh yeah. Oh, I got wrapped around my fingers. Downstream William is hooked up as well. What a beautiful grayling, huh? Time to let it go back. There's a lot of colors I don't know where to go See a lot of colors Only feeling blue There's a lot of colors Lost within a haze Don't rely on others To get you through the maze The dreams are not the same for me Standing by the shore Why you're on the open sea First cannot take this and of the season. Mm, yeah, from the river. Yeah, from the river. Cool. I mean, uh, this river. This river. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gorgeous fish. Yeah. Just the spots. Yeah. All right. Let's take some pictures. Good. There are a lot of choices oh. waiting to be made. Oh, now it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Too many choices. This is Team Selly. It's really popular fly in Finland for brown trout. It's really effective. 
And there is, a, you can see, there is a flask on the fly, a lot of flask. So when there is good light, the fish will see this fly really easily. And if, when you swing fast with this fly, it's really, really good for brown trout. Not big one, but it was in good condition. Nice. Good fighter. So it's a nice fin. Already on the third grayling of the evening. I think the evening is done for me, it's made. Especially when you keep the fins in the water, they're so much more colorful. So, let's get this, this grayling back. Ooh. Still enjoying fishing this dry fly setup. And the nymph rod because it works great. What you cannot do with such a light fly as a dry fly though, or a wet fly on this kind of rig, is that you can ha cannot have the line tight. The cool thing about fishing with a heavy nymph is that you will be able to feel when the trout, the trout or the grayling, the fish, takes the fly. Now you will only be able to see it in the line, which I thought was the thing about tight line nymphing was that you were just staring at an indicator all day. But it's actually a lot of feeling in this. Now I'm fishing with where Viljamin just went through with the streamer. And first cast, I'm hooked up with a grayling. <laughs> this feels like a better one, could be. It's digging very deep. See if I can get it into the backwater. I don't know if it's very big, but they have so much weight now. Yesterday, the big midge hatch started happening in this river. It's not that intense today, but you can definitely feel that the fish is way more well fed now. They're starting to have a lot of food. Oh, big one. Yeah. So this is definitely the biggest I've had on tonight. Beautiful red colors, a very dark fish. Really hope I managed to net this one. It was in the first cast in this pool and Amazing, just amazing. Here it is. Viljami. Yes. I think I have a 50 centimeter grayling in the net. No way. Yeah, I really? think so. It's very wow. nice though. <laughs> nice. Yeah, super nice. Yeah. I did one cast after you came out there. One cast. Only one. Yeah. <laughs> How crazy. <laughs> Whoa. Steep here. Let's get some pictures and then release it. Measure also. Really want to measure this one.
Here is the 50 mark. It's a little bent too. But I think it's pretty exact the 50. There. Yeah. All right. Yeah, maybe it's enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there. It's a little bit difficult to take in how good fishing we actually have right now. Here we have the next fish, right after the 50. It's very difficult to hold, but it's a fish a few centimeters shorter. Just after, we're gonna. Well, grayling are like the worst to hold, I can tell you. So difficult. Now I'm gonna release this beautiful grayling. Really pretty. And like, when, as soon as you stop holding it, like if you pose with it, then it's terrible. But when you put it down in the water, it doesn't want to swim away. Just, and then it just stands here. Right here. You can touch it, doesn't do much. They're quite funny that way. This one is just swimming in circles here. Oh yeah, it's quite big actually. <laughs> Forty six, forty seven. Really nice. Lifts the fin. Woo. Bye bye. Ooh. What? <laughs> that happened right away. Could this be a trout? Or was it just a very aggressive grayling? No, it came off. I didn't see that one. So many rising fish here. Yeah. You can see. Just so close. Everywhere. Oof. Nice one. Yeah, there's some really big ones. The question is how short you can cast and still catch a grayling. <laughs> yeah, they're really close. Wasn't that your fly? Yep. Okay, oh, I took... Not your fly, but... Okay, so now three meters cast. There, fish on. <laughs> fish off. Two and a half meter cast. Fish on. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
small one. <laughs> Can you hold it still? <laughs> Let it go. Oh. <laughs> Not there. Bye bye. You film over your shoulder. Where we're casting. Not clouding anymore. Can you see the fly? I see the fly. Maybe 50 centimeters from the rock. Uh, it's uh, oh, one and a half meter from the rock. Nice. Do you think it's picture time or no? No, it's awesome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever done a fish flop with a grayling? No. No, never. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Again. Still fly out? Right. Oh yeah. Fly yep. some. <laughs> Whoa. Some yeah, that could be the same fish, I'm not sure. Oh do you have a fish on? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> So we're come to an end of another fun episode. So we managed to catch one nice trout and a grayling over 50 centimeters. Perfect evening. There is another grayling and trout video. You can check out here as one of the suggestions. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe. And uh, I think we'll be fishing a little bit more since it's so fun.